ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor to welcome all of you to the Rashtrapati Bhavan this December morning. My name is Venu Rajamni. I'm press secretary to the President of India. And we are extremely grateful to all of you for having joined us today. What you are going to witness, we have, we have already circulated some information to all of you and those who have not received it, my colleagues are here, please collect it from them. What we are going to witness today is the new change ceremony at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. As most of you would be aware, the change of guard ceremony is a very popular event in tourist destinations in major capitals of the world. And in 2007, here in the Rashtrapati Bhavan, a preliminary attempt was made to introduce a change of guard ceremony. However, after President Pranam Mukherjee took over, it was discovered that this event is not publicized adequately enough. People in Delhi, tourists who visit here, members of the public do not know of this event. So the first thing we thought we should do is to call all of you and tell you about the ceremony. We reviewed the ceremony which used to happen and we discovered that the ceremony was sort of divided into three different parts happening in one on the southern sunken basement side, another outside in front of the north block and south block, and a third small element here within the forecourt of Rashtrapati Bhavan. So after discussions amongst the officers in Rashtrapati Bhavan, it was decided that we will move the event inside the forecourt, permitting the use of Rashtrapati Bhavan as a backdrop for the whole event, enabling all of you to get good photographs along with the members of the public. We, the earlier event was about 45 minutes. We thought it would be better for the public, especially in summer, to compress it to 30 minutes. So the ceremony you're going to witness is for a period of 30 minutes. And most important of all, earlier the access for the public was not very easy. Inside the Rashtrapati Bhavan compound, foreigners were not permitted. There were restrictions on cameras. There were restrictions on mobile phones, etc. So as you would have experienced today, we are lifting all these restrictions with the cooperation of the Delhi police, who is responsible for the security of Rashtrapati Bhavan. We want to make this event as public friendly as possible, enabling anyone from the public interested to come up to the gate and walk in and be part of the ceremony with the only restriction that there has to be a ceiling on overall numbers. So broadly 200 people will be permitted every Saturday morning for the ceremony. And after 200, we will have to request them to wait in at outside. But if they come early enough, the first 200 people will have space here. And let me conclude saying that all this is being done on the instructions of the Honorable President of India. The President is very particular that the Rashtrapati Bhavan is an institution which is open to the public, which is open to the common man. He is a man of democratic traditions. He is a man of humble origins. He feels that the Aam Admi should have an opportunity to be part of his life in the Rashtrapati Bhavan and of all activities of the Rashtrapati Bhavan to the best extent possible. So it is keeping in mind this instruction that we have incorporated this drill today. We hope all of you will enjoy it. I will now request my colleague, Major Manas, who is the commandant of the Army Guard stationed here, to give you a little background on the President's bodyguard and on the uh, 28 Madras Regiment unit which is stationed here as the Army Guard. They rotate every three years. So at the end of it, I can come back here and my colleagues are here to answer any further questions you may have from this uh, podium or over informally over refreshments. Major Manas, please come. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I will take a few minutes to tell you uh, or introduce you to the President's Bodyguard and the Army Guard that is placed here in Rashtrapati Bhavan. The President's Bodyguard was raised in 1773, is the senior most regiment of the Indian Army. It is a horse regiment carrying out several duties for the President. Its officers and men are excellent horsemen, capable tankmen and paratroopers. Since independence, it has seen action in 1962 in Chushul, in 1965 in the Western Theatre, in 1988 in Operation Pawan in Sri Lanka. The men of the bodyguard have also served in UN operations in Somalia, Angola, Sierra Leone and Sudan. A detachment of the President's bodyguard also serves in the highest and the coldest battlefield of the world, that is the Siachen Glacier. 
the physical standards of recruitment into this elite regiment are very exacting. Six feet being the minimum height of, for enrollment. The horses also have to be more than 15.2 hands. The men carry both a lance and a red and white cavalry pennant and a cavalry saber. The horses are adorned with shabracks, throat ornaments, and white bro bands. As for the Army Guard, the infantry contingent of the Army Guard belongs to 28th Battalion, the Madras Regiment, the Daring, which was initially raised in 1942 as the 3rd Coastal Defense Battalion at Yerwada, Pune, and was deployed to the Persian Gulf as part of the Persian and Allied Indian forces, where it excelled in its task. It returned to India in 1945 and was demobilized in 1946 as part of the overall reorganization of the Indian Army. It was re-raised on 1st July 1976 at Guava Hill near Wellington, Uti. Since raising, the battalion has served with distinction in all types of operational environment, including high altitude, line of control, counter insurgency and counter terrorism operations. The battalion was awarded the General Officer Commanding in Chief Northern Command, a unit appreciation for its commendable performance in Operation Rakshak and Operation Vijay during 1998-99. During its short span since raising, personnel of the unit have been awarded one Veer Chakra, one Ativishis Seva Medal, three Shaurya Chakras, 15 Sena Medals, three Vishis Seva Medals, two Mention in Dispatches, 33 Chief of Army Staff Commendation Cards, 17 Vice Chief of Army Staff Commendation Cards, and 34 GOCNC Commendation Cards. The battalion arrived in New Delhi after a very successful tenure in the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the drill, and if you have any suggestions uh, on how it could be further improved, we always have an open mind. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the change of guard ceremony at the Rashtrapati Bhavan.